Scientists just bred the world's first tritium fuel inside a commercial reactor, a major stepping stone to unlock fusion power. Most fusion reactors need two types of hydrogen isotope to drive fusion. Deuterium, which has one proton and one neutron, and is non-radioactive and usually found abundantly in seawater, and tritium, which has one proton and two neutrons, and is radioactive and there's only about 20 kilograms of it on the entire planet. This has long concerned fusion naysayers as without a sustainable tritium production mechanism, when we do finally have a fusion reactor it won't run for more than a few months before we run out of the world's supply of tritium reserves. But now a UK startup, Astral Systems, and researchers at the University of Bristol have set out to change that. Astral specializes in making high neutron flux systems to produce things like medical isotopes for diagnosis and treatment. The team ran a 55-hour deuterium-deuterium fusion test, a type of fusion reaction that doesn't need tritium at the start of it. Inside the reactor they placed a special lithium-containing device called a breeder blanket. This blanket is designed to catch neutrons that fly out of the fusion reaction, and as those neutrons hit the lithium, they are captured and then decay to produce tritium and helium-4 plus some energy. This tritium can then be extracted and used as further fusion fuel. During this experiment back in March, researchers were able to measure tritium being produced in real time, making this the first time that a private fusion company has closed the fusion fuel loop, making more tritium than they started with. The team's work now is focused on optimizing and scaling production beyond this proof of principle, but it's an important first step to produce viable tritium production, so that when we do finally have a sun in the palm of our hands we may now actually be able to keep it fed. If you like science and just became weirdly invested in subatomic supply chains, follow for more.